Ego Kill Talent here on live, all the way from Brazil. Ego Kill Talent. Ego Kill Talent desde Brasil, el primer y único mosh del día. Over 40 million streams since the release of the first album in 2017. Having played for over 700,000 people over the last couple years, Ego Kill Talent has performed at the largest festivals in Brazil and Europe. And also been fortunate to tour stadiums with the largest premier rock acts, including System of a Down, Foo Fighters, and Queens of the Stone Age. Their shows at Rock in Rio, Lollapalooza Brazil, and Lollapalooza Chile were broadcasted live on TV for millions of viewers, including the Rock in Rio performance breaking the audience record for the sunset stage. Ego Kill Talent was considered by Google as one of the 20 most relevant new artists of 2017, catching the attention of some worldwide press and celebrities. In 2018, after receiving prominent song features in a couple Brazilian TV series, Ego Kill Talent toured Europe again supporting Shinedown, and also preeminent rock festivals such as Rock em Ring and Rock em Park in Germany, Download Paris in France, Download Madrid in Spain, Press Pop in Belgium, and Nova Rock in Austria, sharing the bill with Muse, Ozzy Osbourne, Foo Fighters, and Guns N' Roses. Still in 2018, the band was in Europe to tour with Within Temptation, jamming some of the most iconic venues, Brixton Academy, UK O2 Arenas, and the Lazenith in Paris, amongst others. The European press once more referred to Eagle Kill Talent as the next big rock band. Ego Kill Talent was on the top list of the most requested bands on the website festivalinfo.nl, one of the biggest music festival search websites in Holland. It's very, very curious. I never seen that in my concert. It's always great when they all start to mix instruments. What I like the most about uh, the performance that they had, every time, every song, they were switching the, the, the characters in every instrument. The voice was amazing. I definitely enjoyed all the moves they had together with the uh, well, the jumping and everything. The most crazy thing was when they changed the uh, instruments. The drama got the bass and all the things. So yeah, it was fucking amazing. <laughs> so I, I love, I just love it. It's 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 a complete set. And I want a lot of energy. I loved it very much, and I hope to see them soon. In January of 2019. The band arrived in Los Angeles, where they spent three months to record their upcoming album at Studio 606, HQ of the Foo Fighters. After the recordings were finished, the band signed worldwide deals with BMG Recordings, C3 Management, and William Morris Endeavor for booking engagements. In the beginning of 2020, the band released three new singles and videos. Now. Life Born, and The Call. Each will be part of the upcoming album release, The Dance Between Extremes. During the pandemic, Ego Kill Talent has recorded live studio sessions in Brazil to release worldwide as a virtual tour, live on the flat screen. When the planet is in a better place, the band will tour worldwide to promote the dance between extremes.